Roblox just responding to a bunch of stuff. The Rolls catalog fully broke. This YouTuber might be in trouble and more Rolls news today. This video is jam packed, so stay tuned. Also, please subscribe. We're getting closer and closer to 400,000 subs, and anything helps. Let's get into it. Our first thing is going to Rolls responding to a bunch of things, and that's because they actually held to ask me anything the other day or today. On the Rolls dev form, Roblox admins and employees held to ask me anything, where creators can ask them, well, anything. Developer questions, questions about Roblox, anything like that. And they actually revealed a lot of interesting stuff about Roblox and the future of Roblox. So I'm gonna break down a lot of it today. Starting with a pretty big one of being new servers. If you're not aware, some major countries just don't have proper servers for Roblox. And because of that, they have to connect to like nearby servers. So sometimes the connection can be laggy, the game can be unplayable, and it overall just very annoying. And it's been like this for years now. For example, like Brazil is one of the biggest ones. I think Australia or some parts of Australia don't have it and a bunch of other countries. And they should respond to this kind of explaining why it's taking so long and what's the future with this. And in terms of Brazil, the biggest one, people have been begging for so long. They kind of explained that it's kind of tricky since the countries don't connect well. They said that, for example, if they put a data center or a server in Brazil, the surrounding countries couldn't like it wouldn't properly work for them as well. So it's kind of hard for them to set up like data centers there because they will only probably work for one region. As he said here, if they set up a data center in Brazil, it won't serve Peru correctly. So it's kind of a tricky situation for them. But with that being said, they did at the end say this, that's that we're still looking into it and balancing how we improve latencies for a large community while also ensuring those services or servers are utilized. So yeah, they are trying and they will try still in the future, but as he explained here, it's kind of tricky for them because it's hard to just get it for every single country working properly. But pretty good response from Roblox and a pretty good explanation. Like it makes sense kind know why they've been putting it off for so many years now. And next we have another pretty interesting one. So for the past month now, and just recently too, Roblox has kind of been shifting the way Roblox is used. And what I mean by that is like the recent announcements they've been doing. Like a month ago, David Bazuki went on a news interview and he's kind of explaining how he wants to also make it so you can use real money across the entire platform. But then also with that, recently they announced that they are actually going to be adding this to one part of the platform, the creator marketplace where you can buy like models and stuff like that. They're actually going to be implementing it so you can use real money, which is pretty interesting. But then with that, someone asked just basically saying, what's the future for the entire platform? Like, are we going to be able to use money across the entire platform and stuff like that? And this is what the response was. This first sort of part is just them explaining that right now they're using it in areas where it kind of makes sense. And but then they said for the entire platform, they said here, However, there are no active plans to use it for other developer transactions in the near term. So with that being said, it seems like as of now, they're only going to keep it for the creator marketplace and not branch out just yet. But then also with that being said, David Bazuki literally did say that on the news interview. But also to be fair, I've seen a lot of people just saying that on news interviews and stuff, he kind of just says some crazy stuff to get investors excited and invest. And a lot of times the plans don't actually like go completely. So David Bazuki could have just been saying that to get people excited and you know invested into Roblox because as we can see here they kind of explain that they don't really have much plans to do it for other stuff which is pretty interesting but then also next they announced something kind of weird which is this thing here Rolls is working on increasing voice chat servers to sizes to 100 users their long-term version just keep scaling to allow you to eventually connect with the unlimited number of users for immersive experiences like concerts which is pretty interesting I don't really understand what their goal is here I feel like it would just be so hectic and crazy especially like a concert but to be fair imagine you're in like a concert with voice chat on and like everyone has voice and it's like a big server and everyone's singing along with like the artist i think that's what their vision is here but then also with that i feel like it would just be so loud and so insane for roblox and i feel like a lot of people can't even handle it so it's kind of an interesting thing that they said here and already like a hundred people server seems like such a mess but i'm kind of interested to see what they go with this and it seems like they're gonna keep you know expanding voice chat servers and stuff so it's kind of interesting and with that next we have another pretty big thing they announced of that being this rolls is working on a rights manager for rights holder to easy file takedown requests for duplicate or counter versions of items he created this is planned for launch in the next few months so it's coming sometime soon a lot of times you announce updates that's going to come in a while but this one is going to be coming sometime soon and this is actually pretty big because as we see with ugc there's so much clone items there's so much copyright items stuff like that and robust's copyright system isn't really that good and it's kind of hard to take down items but now they're making a proper system so you can actually file down takedown requests so if you make a ugc item or an item and someone copies you you can file a takedown request through like their new manager and stuff which is pretty good and in general i feel like this is another step towards them releasing public UGC like they're gonna add all the stuff in place I feel like before public UGC just to try to have as much parameters in place before that whole thing releases which is pretty good from Roblox and then next we have another pretty big one here being Rose is still thinking about how to bring the option filter to games by their genre back to Roblox so yeah if you weren't aware back in the day 
on Roblox, you could kind of sort games by adventure or whatever, stuff like that. And these tags and genres still exist on Roblox. So you can go on any game and it'll tell you what the genre of the game is. But right now there's no way to search for the genres, but there used to be one. And as I explained here, it seems like Rolls are gonna kind of try bringing back that feature in the future, which is really good. However, also with that being said, we've seen Rolls experiment with genre stuff like recently. I think on mobile they had something like that and it didn't really work that good because a lot of people just number one don't put the right genre so the games are just inaccurate and then number two just like the recommendations for genres are also pretty bad since because of that which kind of led to it kind of being useless because people would try sorting for let's say adventure for example and then they wouldn't get adventure games so it's kind of difficult and i feel like that's kind of why rolls have been putting it off how to make a proper genre sorting thing but it seems like they are trying and this would be very cool in the future because Finding games on Roblox in general is just kind of hard. And the next kind of a small one, but kind of big of that being, Roblox said that they have no plans of releasing limiteds anytime soon. So it seems like for a while, Roblox has no plans of releasing their own limiteds anymore. Or, well, I mean, in the future, they probably still will, but not anytime soon, which are pretty interesting. And I feel like the main reason this is happening is all just because public UGC and UGC in general. The fact that UGC Limited has been out for a while now and a lot of them release like every day, I feel like Roblox is stepping more back because they don't feel the need to drop the limiteds anymore since creators drop them all the time. And I feel like that's the general goal with Roblox. I mean, they said that in the past. Like, their goal is to just make it so creators do everything. Pretty interesting. What do you guys think about this? Should Roblox continue making limiteds or do you think it's better if the community just does it? Anyways, also, last thing here i mean there's a bunch of this i can probably make another video going over all this because there's a bunch of responses but these are kind of the biggest ones and another one here where the role of staff member just responded to someone asking about the overall algorithm of roblox because as i'm sure we're all aware the algorithm on roblox especially for like discovering game stuff kind of sucks and they explained that they're gonna try improving it in the future and they're gonna just try making the recommendation and stuff for games better in the future which is really good because it's been bad for so long it's been kind of horrible for a long time now so it's good that they're working on it it's good they know it's an issue going on and overall in general a very good ask me anything from roblox once again we see roles interacting with the community which we haven't seen in so long and this year so far they've been interacting with the community a lot which is very good on them and i think we're seeing like a shift in roblox for once after all these years but anyways with that being said let's get to our next story of just some small things the first one being this for majority of the day today the catalog was completely broken for some reason if you went to the catalog it'll say unavailable and you couldn't access any items or anything and it was down for a few hours i think like a majority of the day like i said but it just came back recently which is good but it's being very weird and then next we have another interesting story being flamingo actually getting in trouble kind of he made a video the other day just talking about some stuff and in it he actually revealed that he, his account got a warning yet again and the warning was very weird it said this rules does not permit sharing personal identifiable information in the form of full name email address passwords physical address telephone numbers image of themselves or unauthorized voice recordings of minors which is very weird he said he never did it obviously but as, as we can see here the events of item is just like some group stuff and overall the warning is kind of weird but he later explained in the video that the group icon that he got warned for was this picture of himself when, when he was younger so i guess the moderation kind of makes sense because he is uploading a picture of himself at, when he was a minor but it just seems kind of weird although for once i can kind of understand where role was, was going with this one but then also with that i don't know why they put unauthorized voice recordings of minors <laughs> it just seems kind of weird but it does say there are images of themselves which technically he did so I can kind of see what was going on there. And lastly, with it all being said, let's get to our last story of another kind of big change coming to Roblox or already came to Roblox. Of that being, they changed the home screen on mobile. As you can see here, they changed it so it now shows the game's thumbnails and the player count in the bottom right. Which is kind of interesting. I've seen a lot of 50-50 on this. A lot of people like it and a lot of people hate it. But with that being said, I've seen so much people saying that they're copying YouTube. Which, I mean, it literally is the exact same format. A thumbnail and the thing in the bottom right. On YouTube, it shows the time in the bottom right, and on this one, it shows the players or the player count in the bottom right. And in general, I don't really know how to feel about this. It seems kind of weird. I think it would work better on PC, I've seen a lot of people saying, which makes more sense. But right now, it's just testing. It's not like a confirmed feature. Let me know what you think about it, though, because like I said, I've seen a lot of 50-50 on this. And overall, if you enjoyed, check this video to find out why Rolls just shocked everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.